This is another attack from the MA that you saw the two hit Alamo go down on. But this was before the tribe cycle to the crazy tribes. This is a 2.6, just over 2.6 ransom. As you can see, it's not quite standard. There's only one MG here. There's these extra rocket launchers right here. And Tippo is actually doing this hit. So, And it's a little bit of a unique way to do ransom that you can do sometimes depending on how many MGs are down in this area. So let's go ahead and watch it. He wasn't able to drop this base, but got so close. And it's just such a beautiful hit and such a neat idea that I really wanted to get it up on the channel. So not a hot landing, which helps. Loses two girls there, maybe. But doesn't really matter as when the girls split doing the, the core wrap with bullet you're going to lose a bunch of girls anyways, and my personal belief is only a certain amount go right no matter how many you have. So losing a couple wasn't a big deal. It was weird those girls took that route down underneath that. I've never seen that, the damage amp right there. So from there you flare, so your first flare is just to the right of the sniper tower, and then you flare right onto that MG. You want to make sure that the bullet smoke is also covering your Zookas as you don't want the Zookas coming out before bullet. So what you're going to see him do here is he's actually going to shock this, this, and this. But he never flares the core, so just watch what happens. So as you, you can see, he did that all in one shock. It takes down that one MG up there to save bullet as much as possible. And then once that MG is down, he no longer has to do the hard shock. And flares the core. And he's able just to repeat shocks. This is a 5-5 account. So doing pretty good damage. Remember this was a 2.6 million core health. And he's doing this with maybe two-thirds of his girls. He gets the critters out right on time to take the first hit of that big barrage there. And unfortunately, I think he left like 200k on the core. It was an easy flash. But that's just an idea for you guys. When you see very few MGs down here, you can just let Bullet take that top machine gun. Obviously, that creates a problem for the next hit as you can't do the wrap. But you can just take that top machine gun and then let the girls kind of naturally attack these three, the two that are dead in this building, are the ones that will often get attacked. I did want to mention after the fact that Tip was actually able to spend 45 seconds on the core, which is kind of nuts. Hope that's informative to you guys. Hope that's something new you haven't seen. I haven't seen it used a lot, and I think it's something that definitely could be used more depending on which buildings you have around and just the layout. Again, just another great example of looking at the base in front of you and not the standard layouts. Hope you guys are having a great day.